Hi, Andy Biggs here from Arizona's 5th Congressional District. You're probably aware that there's a $2 trillion uh, bill that passed out of the House recently and then went to the Senate. And uh, after it went through the Senate, they did some modifications to that bill and sent it back over here. Uh, the Democrats are calling it a, a COVID relief package, but of that $2 trillion, about 165 to 170 billion of it goes for COVID relief. The rest of it goes for some things that maybe you don't really, really want, like uh, bailing out um, states that have been poorly run, who have bad uh, retirement uh, funds, or have increased their debt significantly, or maybe their Nancy Pelosi San Francisco that wanted to be bailed out. That's in this bill. Uh, they took out Chuck Schumer's Bridge to Nowhere and they took out Nancy Pelosi's subway line. But this thing is chock full of bad, bad spending bills. All of that is, gives a problem because you had a trillion dollars from the previous five bailout bills that had not been spent yet. And they could have used that trillion dollars, but instead they borrowed another two trillion dollars or are planning to borrow another two trillion dollars. Now, here's some things that are in that bill. Hundreds of millions of dollars for the uh, uh, in National Endowment for the Humanities. Another hundreds of millions of dollars for National Endowment for the Arts. Additional hundreds of millions of dollars for museums and libraries. Those don't really have anything to do with COVID, do they? And they're sending $750 million overseas to other nations. They're using $400 million to pay for animals to be tested to see if some of them might get COVID someday. So you begin to see this is one boondoggle after another. We used to call these things earmarks because individuals have come to the Pelosi government and said, we want to spend this money on this area in order to get their vote. Speaker Pelosi said, okay, to keep their vote. Chuck Schumer, the majority leader in the Senate said, okay. This is what passes here for a COVID relief bill. Well, I'll be voting no on this bill when it comes to the floor this week. I'll keep you posted.